uh, the COT analysis. Uh, so it's uh, 23rd of June. I already highlighted, I mean, I already updated the, the report. Okay. So we'll do the index analysis today. I mean the USD index, card index, Swiss brand, pound, maybe. So let's start with the, the dollar. So from the COT, we can see from the last two weeks, uh, uh, the large speculators have changed from net long going to uh, net short. And you can see here, uh, they decreased the orders from longs to short uh, around two weeks ago. And mm -hmm. there's an increment here of around 800 orders. Uh, and from this other side of the commercials, they are not, uh, they are net long. So uh, we expect the market to be short. So according to this, uh, the market structure is short. So let's go to the dollar index and do our analysis. So I uh, will start with the monthly here. Let me. Uh, Load the template here. So from uh, from the monthly, still uh, this candle here has not closed. Eh? Yeah. So we have uh, two days eh, for it to trade and close, <coughs> but we see a bounce here. Uh. And from the weekly now. Uh, from the look, you can clearly see this uh, like triple, triple, triple bottom. So this is an area of support, and uh, this uh, we have five and thirteen crossover here. So this pullback can go around this EMA, eh? yeah. and this is the same as the anticipation from last week. And from last week, uh, dollar actually came to this order block here on the daily. So the stop point was to this order block and then we had a rise. And uh, the R4 TDI, you see the stop point came all the way to form a shark fin around this uh, 50 and 30 level. So when you go to the hour now, we had a peak formation low here. So I drew the ADR boxes. The ADR is 131. Okay, so that's ADR times one, go to uh, times two, and you go to ADR times three. Uh, but we had three levels up. And this uh, this point here, we almost completed the third ADR. And we did not plot where uh, the CMAs are. This around here. And you see from the daily here, we have like, uh, this was supposed to be a W, but we formed another third leg here. And I, I did put uh, the Fibonacci, and this was around 62% level. So you see the bounce was around 62%. It was around the discount market. So 
So I will plot the ADR boxes also at this point here. Because from this previous cycle, we had one, two, three. The levels are complete and almost three times ADR is complete. And ADR is simply an average. So I'll plot other uh, ADR boxes and see where uh, it takes me. So it's near, uh, near this area here. Can clearly see. So it's near the area where the weekly time frame gives us the bias for reversal. So uh, we should expect for a stop and flow and then rise. Huh? So last week we uh, uh, we expected a stop and to this point, but uh, the dealer decided to move three three levels down to find the order block and then reverse from there. So that's the anticipation around the dollar index. Now let's go to the other index, but uh, we, we know that from the COT, our, our bias is, uh, is short eh? on the dollar. We are not short. So this move will happen, but this one, uh, see from the daily, we, 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 we expect that we, we saw three levels down. So we expect three levels up, but uh, it, it's, uh, it's not a, a high probability setup for the three levels to complete. Eh? So our point where we, we might see a bounce or a reversal on the, on the daily is around the 200 EMA or the 800 EMA. So when it reaches the 200 EMA, we should expect for consolidation to go down, okay? Uh, let's go to the card index. Um, the card index, we are not short, and the orders that have increased or decreased are somewhat insignificant. See a, a, an increase on the, I uh, mean, on the, on the longs, but it does not reach the maximum that longs have reached, and a decrease on the shorts. But uh, we are still in natural, the difference is still great here. But uh, the, uh, uh, the open interest is still decreasing. So uh, many, many traders have closed there, the order. So uh, we expect that card index uh, could have less, uh, less, less liquidity. Uh, but uh, this was my anticipation last week. So we are still net short. And at this point, the dealer came to bounce at this price here, which is actually another block. On the weekly time frame. See, this all is another block here. So this all is a block of orders. So let's start with the monthly here. Okay, the monthly has a pin on the 13 EMA. That's why they are having uh, shorts more because of this pin. See this close, if it closes red here, then we expect another red candle down. On the weekly, it came to bounce. See for this, Order block. This is all a block of orders. And actually, it, it, it did not bounce. Eh? 
simply this is a is a is a full body candle showing a strong momentum down and it has far broken this order block although it has not reached the 50 percent of it but uh This should not give give us a, a bias to go along. On the daily here, uh, the next order block that they could find is uh, here. We only have swing swing highs. The next order block is around here, and this was level one. We had three swipes to the high. You can see this. And I expected for uh, only three green candles going up. Eh? But this had uh, large bodies and this had small bodies. And uh, But we see three, like three vectors going up. Eh? Three swipes and then this is the second level. But it did not break the previous uh, form below. So for the level for this level to be called a level, it needs to be to break this. Eh? On the other one, uh, we should draw the ADR boxes from this big reset here. So our bias is still short. Our ADR is seventy one. See the third year is around the daily order block. Hmm. This is very wonderful. <laughs> so uh, we should expect for a stop and highs and drop. Although on Friday it, it did have a stop and see this was a stop and here. Yeah? So I'm I'm not expecting a very big stop and, but we should ex anticipate for a stop and tie then, and then drop on this. So card is weak, and. Uh, the dollar is strong. Where is USD card going? USD card is going to buy. USD card is going to buy. Let's go to Swiss franc. Yeah. Um, the Swiss franc now. Uh, we are net wrong, but uh, the difference here is. Actually, the difference is, is not that big. Eh? And you can see orders are increasing on the short side. Orders are increasing on the short side. See, from 4,000, 8,000, 7,000, and 10,000, and orders are decreasing on this side here. So uh, that gives us a view that uh, the market is about to reverse. Eh? So we are, net, we, are, we are still in net wrongs. Now let's, uh, let us do our analysis here. Though uh, the Swiss franc economy is somehow strong, eh? This currency, yeah. currency keeps on rising. See, this was a bounce around this. Uh, uh, this was a swing high here. So it was a bounce around this on the monthly. Gives us a net wrong bias. On the weekly, they bounce around the 50 MA. But it was also an area of uh, an area of, of, uh, of support, eh? Because it was a resistance area, it was being broken, so it was an area of support. That gives us a net wrong bias. And on the daily, we have See, this was the initial high that was formed and the dealer came 
down here to grab the liquidity and we had the first level going up and here we had a pullback to the 13 EMA 5 and 13 crossover so this is the second level going up so we have a peak reset right here So we, 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 we shall be monitoring the COT on the SUS front to see if next, next week they have changed from a net, net long going to net short. So it's around 107. So I still have a third level going up. And market is actually on the large quarter point. So our first area where we should expect our stop and is here. We have the blue tracer indicating the high of this day. And also at this point here, where we also have the 50 MA, which is the highest, uh, which gives us a high probability setup here. So we should have our stop and draw. Right. So we have two, two levels to look at there. Yeah? So if, yeah. uh, if uh, Swiss franc is going, it's going long and the dollar is going long where is usd check going i think yes dollar it should still buy yes it should still buy no usd check will be consolidating oh 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 yeah see how how usd check is moving eh this yeah. was also this was the dollar move plus the Swiss franc move. And then we had the dollar move going up and here Swiss franc came by, so it's consolidating around. And now let's, let's go to another, and we have the GBP. I wanted to look on, uh, on the euros first. Okay, let's, uh, let us look on the GBP. See, from the pound index, uh, we can see we are not short, and actually, the number of orders that have increased on the long side is quite a few uh, compared to the short side. So, uh, orders have increased to the short side with a slight increase on the open interest here, showing uh, new orders coming in, new liquidity coming in. Uh, let's go to pound index. So uh, we had the first level, the second, and the third. And actually at each level, ex ex except for level one, for level two, we had like three levels down. Eh? And here we have the first level, the second, and we are on the third. And this candle closed with a strong momentum going down. So I'll, I'll, I'll take off this Fibonacci. It's actually useless in that part. So I expected for a consolidation here for the market to go longer. And this is around the order block here. See, this is how uh, the weekly The weekly candle closed. So we closed, showing a strong momentum going down. This was the other block that uh, market came to bounce. So if it breaks this uh, this other block here, the one we have on the daily. Let's go to the alpha and look. Uh, 
the other block on the alpha is on this large quarter point here. It's actually all this. All this is another block. See, this candle here had a week, and this week was filled with this candle. So this is a block of orders. And this is around 50%, the one uh, on the large quarter point down there. So let us draw the ADR boxes. Is 141, so we have the second ADR box, doesn't complete the second ADR box. I need to go on the alpha. So the third ADR box is around hesitation zone after this large quarter point here. So we are still uh, we we still have uh, one move down eh, on pounds yeah. that I will not trade. So I simply wait for pounds to form a big formation low. Uh, for me to take the long trade, eh? See, when uh, when the market reaches the when the market reaches the third level, when you take a trade, see the dealer has enough ground for a stop, and so there is a high probability of uh, your stop loss to be hit. So that's a good peak reset there. We have JPYs. There is increase of orders on the loans here around 7,000 and they have on the short here 2,000 we are net long a slight increase on the open interest so new orders came in so a net long on this uh, on JPY and this is the monthly time frame because on the monthly, the market structure here shows. Let me draw a horizontal line from here. So it shows the, that we have an area of uh, support there. Uh, but we we had an area of resistance here where price did not touch it. So we are still going uh, going, going up. Huh? On the weekly now, the weekly we have a bounce here. See how the candle closed on the weekly time frame. Yeah, that's on probably 13. So if, if we have another green candle up, that would be like a, an Indian star part. But on the daily, I expected for price to come uh, to this point here. Okay. 
Yes, I expect the price to come to this point. So this was the first level, the second and the third. So this point and then reverse from there. Although here we do not have a, a fair value gap, still the prices have been filled by shorts and longs. We have several weeks there. But this is a, it's actually a good point for me uh, to take my, uh, to take long trades, eh? So I still expect for, for it to go short to this point here. So we have the first peak reset here. The idea is around 40. And this is actually the peak reset, but see the idea time three goes all the way to this point here. Mm. So I'm still expecting for short trades to this point. So the market will be uh, so JPY LFX JPY is the same as XX JPY. So it's the same as selling USD JPY, but also the dollar is the dollar is going long, huh? So yeah. where, where does that? Uh, what does that make of USDJPY? Consolidation, I believe. Yes. See how the market is going on USDJPY. So at one time it goes short, consolidates, goes long, and this is an effect of one of the currencies. Then it goes short, the longs. Actually, we had a very good long run here. Yeah. And uh, what is the next here? We have the euro. On the euro, uh, we actually net long with an increment of orders in both longs and shorts. Slight increase on the open interest. And my anticipation on euros is actually a bounce around this EMA here. So let's see how how they played on the R4. Okay. So they came all the way to the switchboard. So this might be a mitigation block here for me the green candle here. Because it has actually bounced around this uh, 800 EMA. My bias on Euro is long, long, long. Mm -hmm. So uh, we should expect for a stop and flow rise, but we have this, uh, this green candle as a bullish mitigation block. If at all this high has been broken, eh? so we should expect for the market to return to this point and then continue. So you mm -hmm. have it here. So if at all the market comes down a bit to this EMAs and then continues up. So we have a very good bounce here to return to this soda block here. That is on the euro. On the NZDs now, on the NZDs we have seen a slight decrease on the 
on the uh, shorts and a great increase on the longs. But the difference was still net short. Still, uh, the around 15 orders huh, have increased. Eh? So my bias on this is indifferent. Eh? <laughs> Although we are still net, net short, but uh, I expect for the market to consolidate and the liquidity is not actually back. So I expect for the NZD to have a bit of consolidation like we had last week, though it is wise to take shorts. So from, and Audi, Audi, uh, Audi pairs actually had orders. Huh? from the COT. Actually had the increase on the, see here the net short is clear. Although the liquidity is not bad. So for the LED, uh, we are on the third level on the daily. And we have the 800 EMA here, which gives us uh, difficult. So if at all they break this, eh? Mm -hmm. then our target should be this point and then a fall. But uh, from the consolidation uh, that is shown on this time frame, the R4, simply expect maybe to come, uh, the dealer come to take this out. So I stop and hide to this point and then draw. This was a return to the order block. See, this was the order block here. We have an order block yeah. here. So this was a return to order block, a return to order block, and this was also a return to order block. But we see that uh, price is somehow uh, trying to get to go up uh, from this large quarter point. So our target should be this half point here if it breaks this. Half point and then we go down. So for Euro, Audi and Euro, NZD, Euro is strong, NZD is weak, Audi is weak. So Euro, Audi and then Euro, NZD, uh, we should be looking for longs on these pairs. Okay. NZD. But their stop are actually deep. Eh? Yeah. And you can see Euro, Audi is somehow like the Audi index in reverse. The 800 is here. So if if it if at all it breaks this, then our target is here. But I will never sell your Audi at this point. We'll simply look for longs. And continue up. So uh, that's all I have for for today. I know we we have to discuss on Nasdaq, but I haven't mm. really prepared for on that. Huh? Okay. <laughs> but when I when I'm ready, I guess this week we will have a session on that. Okay. 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 But uh, I want I wanted to ask on the um, Excel sheet. Yes. I wanted to know what the yellow arrow mean. Ah, uh, this yellow arrow. Yeah. See this uh, increase. Okay. Yeah. This are decrease, and this yellow it means that uh, it's somehow in between the increase and the decrease. Like we have, oh, okay. we have like sixty nine thousand and seventy two as the lowest, and these are the highest. So in between we have the eighty nine. Okay. Yes, and if if at all I enter orders here, maybe I enter around two hundred and fifty thousand. So you see, the arrows are changing. Oh wow! Wow. Yes. Okay. This becomes the newest high, and these are all. So you simply see where is the new, where is the high, when, when you, you uh, we reach maybe next year around May, we will definitely know uh, where is the highest and what, 
where, where is the lowest? And this graph will give us the open interest for the highest and the lowest. Um, okay. 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 Thank you for listening. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.